Hey, welcome back. It's Giovanni again from Two Down Gaming. Today we're going to look at a little error on Elgato Stream Deck. A lot of people seem to have been getting this lately, and if you have anything on your Elgato screen that looks like this, it says that the remote control plugin is missing, and to please reinstall the Stream Deck, and then try again. Like I said, a lot of people are running into this error. I even had this error, so that's why I'm doing the video. I went through a bunch of other helpful videos, even Elgato's instructional page, and nothing seemed to solve it. So I went ahead and made this video for you. Hopefully this one actually helps out. This is exactly what I had to do to fix mine. So here we go. First of all, I want you to locate where your OBS is installed. Mine was on drive K under OBS Live. Now, if it's on any drive other than your main hard drive, which for me would be the SSD boot drive, drive C. If it's on anything other than C, what I want you to do is right click your OBS Live or your regular OBS, whichever one you use, and copy. Then go to your C drive and paste it here. You'll see that mine is already here located on the C drive. The reason we're copying this over is that a way you don't lose any of your scenes or sources or anything from your OBS. Because if you uninstall and reinstall, more than likely you're pretty much just going to lose everything and have to redo everything from scratch. So go ahead and do the copy and paste from your current hard drive to the main hard drive. Anywhere on the primary hard drive should be fine. Now, once you've got that copied over, we're going to go to wherever you download all of your stuff to and you'll find your OBS setup. Go ahead and run through that again. I'll open it here just to show you. There we go, sorry about that. Forgot I even had the audio still on. Now, start your setup, go through it and have it actually install OBS to where you just copied it. That way you're getting a fresh install over it but you still keep all of your stuff in OBS, your scenes, your sources, everything you're still going to stay there. I'm going to back out of this because you don't need me to go through the whole thing to show you how to set it up. You've done that before. Now, I want you to go to your search bar down here and type in add and stop. It's just going to show you the first thing is add or remove programs. Click on that. Wait for God knows how long for this thing to actually load. If The more you have installed, the longer it's going to take to load, obviously. that's Mine takes a while because it's 416 items on my PC between all the hard drives. If you have that many, go to your search list and type in Elgato. Or Legato, if you're like me and can't freaking type. Should pop up right there, your Elgato Stream Deck. Go here, uninstall from here. Do not use the Elgato installation file to uninstall it. Go here, click uninstall, let it completely remove Elgato Stream Deck. From this point, your best choice is honestly to reboot and come back to this video. I'll wait, trust me, I'll still be here. All right, now that you're back, this is completely uninstalled. We can close out of this. Go back to where your items are downloaded open up your Stream Deck install. Go through the whole thing, let it install to the default location or anywhere else on your primary hard drive that has Windows on it, which should be drive C. So go through all of that, let it install. Yeah, well, mine wants to be a pain here, but now you can see here, I've got mine now installed. I've got OBS Live here and my Stream Deck down here. So they are both on my primary hard drive. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag my Stream Deck in that has just recently been reinstalled. And we'll go down here and add a scene. This is generally where you would see that error pop up as when you go to add a scene. As you can see at the bottom of mine, there is no error. I am all good. This method should 100% work. 
the reason you actually want to do it this way is because it needs Elgato Stream Deck for some reason needs OBS or whatever software you're using on the same hard drive as Stream Deck. And it should be the primary hard drive. I'm not sure why they did this, but they do. So get it all on your primary hard drive. Make sure you copy it over for OBS, then reinstall OBS over top of your copy. Uninstall Elgato, reboot, reinstall Elgato. Reinstalling Elgato after installing OBS is the part that actually fixes this. That way, your fresh install of Elgato can actually find your new installation of OBS. If this works out for you, freaking fantastic. I love it. I, you know, I really enjoy it when I can help people out and fix their problems. So if I did, make sure you leave a like on the video. Go ahead and subscribe while you're here. Every subscriber we get is most certainly appreciated. And hey, while you're at it, go check me out on Twitch. I am Giovanni Legend on there. You can find the link down below each of my videos to my Twitch account. So I'll see you hopefully on there.